welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are excited about today's video because, hello, look at these eyes. <laughs> it is a beautiful makeup look that I'm really, really excited about. I came into today's video feeling very inspired, very happy, and I feel like you can see it. You know, you can see it shining through me. It's a beautiful look. In today's video as well, guys, I'm sharing with you all a new foundation, and that is the Vanish Liquid Foundation, which I have all on my skin right now. And I'm also working with Hourglass on this video, guys, so I can show you all about this new foundation. When I tell you all, I am so excited about this foundation. I am so excited about it because I've been a big fan of the Vanish Chick Foundations. When I heard about this, I knew it was going to be literally bomb. So today's video, I am recreating a look from a photo that I've had on my phone for a long time, actually. Unfortunately, I could not find a makeup artist. This is posted on a fashion page on Instagram. Tiger Mist, it's a brand that I actually always wear, but I screenshotted this photo about, oh, I don't even know, but um, I try to find the makeup artist. I try to find who created this look and I could not. So if you guys know who this is, please tag them so I can give them credit. But this is a look. It's a very beautiful blend of oranges, purples, and dewy skin. The blush is really brought out on the side of her cheeks. I could be her Latina sister, right? No. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe if you are not. Like, comment, share, follow me on all my social media. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and just jump into this video. Hello, hello. I'm gonna start off by applying my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is my favorite go-to eyeshadow base that is so good for everyone. Like, it's so good. And we are just gonna be applying this on my eyelid, above and then out. We're gonna be really bringing the base out today. For our eyeshadow palette today, we are gonna be using a fun palette, also another P. Louise product. And this is our newest palette. It's called The Secret Sinners. Oh, the outside's actually really pretty too. Full of so much color. I'm so inspired by this entire palette i think it's so gorgeous i mean they even still added some neutral shades in here which i thought was really nice really great color payoff on them so i'm really excited to show you guys how everything's going to be okay so i'm going to be going in first with the shade dream which is going to be this matte orange shade and that's going to be pretty much my main all over crease color it's going to be all over the eye i'm going to take this in with a smith 247 brush Starting on the outer V of the eye, as always, kind of just my starting point. I like to go in circular motion and then go ahead and work the product up. I'm gonna go ahead and also work it towards the front of the eye, going pretty high with this color too. I don't really want there to be much of a space between between, between the brow hala, uh, between the uh, brow hala. What am I, who, what, where am I from? Between the brow highlight and the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work the product in that circular motion all over the eyelid. And then also gonna work the product a little bit lower and then out, as I mentioned, because that's why we extended that base out. I'm gonna pick up now this Morphe M501 brush. It's a clean brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and work it over the Shadow Dream. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of the Shade Dream and just build the shadow up. I always talk in my videos about how important it is to really build your shadows. It's all about building and blending to perfect the shadow. Start off with a little bit and then build. Little, build. I'm gonna tap into the shade, bow down, and add that to the crease area. This is about two shades brighter and more intense than the shade Dreamy. Oh, it's actually called Dreamy, not Dream. And that's gonna be going right over the crease, the lid, pretty much everything we just applied. And then now going back in with that blending brush, blending that out. So now I'm gonna go and tap into the shade Addicted and Hooked. Kind of mix those both together and apply that to my lash line. And I'm going in with this flat MAC 239 brush. What I'm going to do is tap it on the lash line. Just kind of going back and forth, tapping it, but also kind of blending up. I'm now going to go in with this Sigma E20 brush, which is kind of like a flat defining brush. And I'm going to go closer to the lash line now. And all this is doing is intensifying the shadow. Kind of gives it more of like that intense application versus this brush is a little softer and fluffier. So it's easier to guide it with this one and then build it with the next one. All right, next I'm gonna tap back into that shade Addicted and I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and we're just gonna lightly sweep this onto the inner corner of the eye. Just a little bit to give me some guidance before I go in with the next shade. So now I'm gonna move into the Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne palette and we're gonna be using the shade Spitfire. So starting right in this area right there. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color on and then lightly tap and blend out kind of into the lid. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and start working that shadow up. 
All right, next I'm gonna tap into the Benefit Roller Liner. This is their newest eyeliner they have come out with, and I'm just gonna simply do a very thin line. I'm just following my eye shape and stopping right there. I don't wanna wing out this look because I don't feel like it goes with it, but I do always like to line my lash line. So, that's it for the liner right there. And now I'm gonna go in with the new Milani Highly Rated Mascara and get my lashes nice and ready for the falsies. This is actually um, really a great Mascara, I've been playing with it for the last day or so and I really liked the way it left my lashes I felt like it really was easy to build it up and I really loved the wand size on this I think it's like a perfect size wand. It's not too big It's okay, thank god it's a little bit and it's on a metallic shade, you know, bye I think they look great. Now we're going in with this style Oh crrr. So this is honestly like the perfect lash to use for this look because it is a beautifully flared lash. It's gonna sit really heavy on the end and lighter towards the inner part of the eye, which is kind of what I wanted because I really want the inner corner of the eye to stand out. So we'll come back to my eyes in a little bit. We're gonna move on to the face makeup. So today we are gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I have not put this moisturizer down since I started using it. It is so good. It leaves my skin looking so nice, so hydrated, so dewy, and I just really like it. So I'm gonna apply that much onto the fingertips and apply it all over my skin. So we're gonna go ahead and skip the primer and move straight into foundation. That is right, no primer. No primer needed at all for this look. This is a foundation that doesn't require any primer at all. And I'm so excited to introduce it to you guys and talk to you guys all about it. Drum roll please. Say hello to their new Vanish Liquid Foundation. If you guys have been with me on YouTube since the beginning, you will know that the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation is my absolute favorite stick foundation. In fact, the very first year of YouTube, that was the only foundation I wore. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. It still is one of my favorite stick foundations. When they told me all about this foundation, I keep clapping because I'm so excited. I had a chance to go down to the Hourglass headquarters last week and I sat down with them, talked with them. They showed me a beautiful visual of the foundation and I actually got to sit down with not only their PR team but the artists for their team and they gave me all kinds of tips and tricks on how to use it, different ways you can do it and really how anybody can use this whether they want to go for a very full coverage look, a more natural look. There's many ways to wear it and you're still going to get that beautiful natural satin finish and I just love it because again I'm a big fan of the stick foundation so I knew this was going to be so good so I'm gonna show you guys the bottle so this is the bottle very luxurious very beautiful very gorgeous I expected nothing less from them this is the stick version so it's kind of like la hermanita you know it's the sister she cute she thick you know she's gonna do a lot in here so we like that in the foundation i wear the shade beige during my winter and then in the summer i use golden and you guys i can't tell you guys how beautiful the coverage is on this foundation i get so excited when it comes to foundations because i live for full coverage natural finish not matte not too dewy i kind of like that in between foundation and this is exactly what it does for my skin if you like a 24 hour wear then this foundation is definitely for you. So right now I'm kind of going through it. I had a peel just a few days ago and I'm still kind of recovering. So coverage is definitely needed for me right now. And just like the stick foundation guys, there are 32 shades available in this formula. They have a range of undertones as well, which is really great. I know for me, I always struggle, especially with high-end luxury brands, finding a foundation that doesn't run too warm and I find their shades to have a good balance of everything. So I definitely recommend checking these out. They are available right now and you can find them at a hourglass retailer and that way you can try it on in person see how it looks i mean you guys are going to be blown away so now that i've confessed my love for this foundation and giving you guys all the details i'm going to go ahead and get started on the application and what's great about this foundation too because of the coverage you only need half a pump i'm probably going to use one full pump on myself i'm going to dot it on and then blend away and i'm actually going to be using it with the kabuki brush that is paired with the foundation normally and as of lately i've really been liking my foundations with kabuki brushes versus beauty blenders i love using beauty blenders but they do give a different finish I do find you get more coverage with a brush versus a beauty blender with the beauty blender you're still gonna get full coverage but it will be a little lighter but definitely try it with the brush like this you're gonna notice a huge difference in how it looks all right so one pump on to the back of my hand I'm gonna go ahead and dot my face and don't mind if it is a little darker than me because I always like to try my foundations just a little darker. So let's go ahead and blend away. Do you see what I mean? Woo! Coverage. I barely just tapped into that area. 
So I like to go in a very soft circular motion. Wow. It just went on so nicely, blended out so evenly. It's truly a foundation that you do not really have to build because it does all the work for you. That one pump did it all. So after you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and press the brush all over the skin. This is really just gonna push everything in, give it a little more coverage on certain areas. For me, it's always right in this area where I have more freckles and where I find to have unevenness and kind of blotchiness. I'm gonna go ahead and just work it into the neck area as well. I have been like a vampire the last few months. I've had no sun. I normally have a little bit of a spray tan or sun and I have a little bit of color. I've been indoors for too long. <laughs> Foundation is on. I wanna give you guys a close up. I want to show you guys that beautiful satin finish that leaves on the skin. So now that we have the foundation on, we're going to go ahead and move into some concealer and then we're going to go ahead and then set it with some powder. So for concealer today, I'm going to be pairing it with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Wheat. And I figured this would be a really great concealer to pair it with. Side of the nose. I'm going to do a little heart. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with the Beauty Blender. Just pouncing away, getting as close as I can to my under eyes. Although we're gonna go back in with the shadows, I do wanna kind of even everything out. So I'm gonna go about right there and I'm gonna clean the rest of it up with the brush. Just really pushing it on so that it stays in place. So this is a full coverage concealer. It has a soft matte finish. It claims to be creaseless as well. And it also is infused with hyaluronic acid. Hello again, you guys know I love hyaluronic acid for the skin. It just plumps, makes the skin look beautiful and smooth. So that's what that's gonna do for you. And I'm okay with that, especially underneath the eyes. I do want that area to look nice and plumped and smooth. We don't want anything moving. So I figure it's gonna be perfect for this look. I'm taking it now this Dose of Colors brush and I'm pretty much just gonna slightly clean up around the side of the shadow. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go back in with the Hourglass brush and just kinda tap on top. I don't want it to be too two-toned in this area. I do like a really bright under eye, but I also don't want it to be like illuminating that much, you know? I'm gonna take it up, kind of blend it in between the eyes, and then I'm gonna take the video blender now and kind of roll it over. We're back. Every time I my face is on, guys, I feel so good. I feel back. I'm back to myself, you know? I'm here. And honestly, once like the complexion goes on, don't you guys think everything just kind of pops now? Like skin looks great, eyes look great. Everything just kind of like starts to come together. I'm so happy. Now that we have this on, we're gonna go ahead and set the makeup and I thought it'd be best to pair this look with the Hourglass Veil Powder. This is a translucent setting powder, great for all skin types. Leaves an invisible finish on the skin. It's gonna set everything really nicely. So I thought it'd be perfect for this look because I still want the natural skin finish on my face to kind of shine through. I don't wanna be too matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her some nalgadas. Once you open it up, it has a gold sifter. I believe that's what it's called. And pretty much what is on there is all you really have to use. It dispenses a perfect amount and it doesn't create a mess, which is a plus. So I'm just gonna use whatever is on there and I'm gonna set the skin first with the brush and then bake underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take this in with actually the hourglass brush. I always use this one of my videos too. It's a dual sided one. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of press it onto the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use the small side and press this onto the smaller, harder to reach areas. It's overall just going to give me a longer finish on everything, really just kind of lock it all down. So I went ahead and pulled up some details about it online so that you guys know. So this is a vegan powder, and I actually did forget to mention to you guys that Hourglass is a luxury, cruelty-free brand. Powder claims to blur the appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles for an airbrush finish, perfect for all skin types. And it's also formulated with diamond powder, so it keeps a nice dimension on the skin. So, just a little bit of details to know. This looks really, really good. Jeez. I'm now gonna go ahead and get my beauty blender and dip it right into the powder. This is like the only area I do I really do a kind of heavy set because this is an area where I can get a little creasy if I don't set correctly. All right, so let's bake. Let's finish off these under eyes and then jump back into the skin. I'm gonna take the shade Addicted, which is that matte purple shade, and apply it to my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Dreamy and just go right over the purple. And then now I'm gonna pick up some of the Spitfire shade from Urban Decay. And I'm gonna actually wet it really quickly with some of my All Nighter setting spray. I'm gonna take in the Milk Cosmetics Eyeliner in the shade Blindfold. It, it's, a, it's a slip liner, but it's an eyeliner. We're gonna, it's an eyeliner. I'm 
I'm dusting some of that orange underneath of the eye. You know what I noticed too about this setting powder? It like melted into my skin. Like it's not sitting on there how it was. Like you remember how it's so bright, like you can still see it's there, but it's not just like powder, it's like melted in there. It looks really, really good. That is pretty much it. So I'm now gonna take in the small side of the brush and just kind of lightly dust away any product that may be sitting on my skin. We're gonna go ahead and bronze my skin up and blush it up. So I'm gonna take in the new Kylie Cosmetics Press Bronzing Powder in the shade Tequila Tan. It's such a cute name. I want this color to be perfect for my skin type to just kind of give me a nice bronze. So I normally always contour my skin like with a concealer. So for today's look, I decided not to do that because I really want to try to bring the shadow and the blush kind of together like as one. So now I'm gonna be going in with the Buxom Wonderlust Primer and blush this is in the shade Mykonos it's a really gorgeous coral blush I thought would look really great with this normally I apply just on my apples and I'm done but I'm gonna be taking this up a little higher and then around and about so bear with me as I do this so I'm gonna go ahead and set the skin before I apply any kind of highlight on with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray going to do a pretty good amount onto the skin. For the highlight, we're going to be mixing two different highlights today. One being a cream and one being a loose highlight. So the first one is another Hourglass product. This is the Champagne Flash. This is actually what I was wearing in my brow tutorial. It's all I had on my skin was just concealer and some of this just kind of tapped wherever. And it is so good if you want that wet skin. So I like doing this pretty much with like the tip of my finger, just like tapping it where I need it. So I think doing it with the finger is easier than a brush because you really have control of where the product's going. And I feel like sometimes if you go with the brush, you don't know where the hair strokes are moving. So it's better to just kind of tap it on, work it around, and then you can like maneuver it if like anything moves. But for the most part, it doesn't move, which is nice. I mean, you guys can already see nothing, nothing is shifting. So just apply it onto like the ring finger or if you guys want to be a little crafty, you can actually, it's a waste of product, but it's a really good technique. You can actually uh, stamp and roll it on your cheekbone. Do this with like minimal makeup, not really like a bead down like this if you're going for a more softer makeup. Perfectly um, highlight the area right here. Let me know if you guys want a video on something like that. I can definitely show you guys how to apply it on. It's really easy. I think I learned that technique back in my freelancing days and it's really, really good. So we're just gonna tap it. Oh my goodness, it's like very, very wet. I love this. So the loose highlight I'm gonna use is the Kylie in the shade King. What I'm gonna do is apply it on with the back of the hourglass brush and I'm pretty much just going to tap over everything. So very, very, very lightly just tapping it. I actually don't wanna ruin what I already have on. I'm gonna go ahead and set the skin. So for lips, we're gonna be going in kind of nude peachy gloss finish. So the first one is gonna be a MAC Roll Lip Pencil. And then I'm gonna also take this in with the Natasha Denona All Natural and topping it off with a new Pat McGrath lip gloss. So shall we? Starting off with MAC Roll Lip Pencil. I'm gonna do a very light line. This is going to define my lips, make them look fuller, more plumped. Now going in with the new Natasha Denona All Natural Liquid Lipstick and applying this all over my lip. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of, of it on and then blend it out on my finger. And then the final lip product is gonna be this new Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Belladonna. All right guys, we're all done with today's look. I hope you guys loved this makeup. I love the combination of the eyes, the lips, the skin, the glow. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, if you guys did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know too if you guys are gonna be checking out the new Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. If you guys haven't, highly, 1010 10, recommend checking it out. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.